Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure, it's a very appreciated for me to have and uh, make a speech here. The theme of my speech is Homo Art and Go with the Wood. In China, an important principle is cons consistently followed by people in creation of Homo Art. That is, go with the wood. Then, what does it mean? In short, it's a special workmanship, mostly done with handcraft to make wood products at their most ideal profiles and appears. In accordance with the material's natural shape and characteristics. That is just contrary to the industrialized method generally used in the world, which is to find suitable materials to given designs. The Chinese workmanship is based on respect to wood, a product of the nature with unique wisdom and technology, the former make wood materials according to their different natural characteristics into artistic products for people to use and admire for long. But the latter, on the contrary, often use wood as ordinary materials in mass production for some disposable products. Different aims naturally lead to different principles about how to use the wood. Home art is the most typical result contributed by Chinese craftsmen by sticking to the principle of making articles with the nature of wood. The term Hongmu, as used by Chinese people, is the generic name for the great numbers of hardwoods from different origins and under various categories. Rather than a single species of wood, characterized by great weight, tiny pore, warm colors, and beautiful greens, those hardwoods have been called Hongmu by Chinese people. That was a unique <coughs> creation originated from China's traditional culture. Speaking objectively, although all hard words have their own names or titles from their tropical native lands, it seems they have never been used that much by the people living there. As most of those hard words cannot grow into regular shapes and hollows and warm holes in their trunks often detracted from their values. They are not very good for mass production. However, the defect of those hard words don't become barriers for home art craftsmen to use them. In fact, just because their low volume rates do not meet the requirements of larger scale mechanized production of modern industry, modern industry, yeah. <clears throat> they become the most suitable materials for the creation of homo art. A lot of homo artistic articles which don't need big lumps of wood, but must be produced with very delicate handicrafts are actually made of those materials that look useless. 
the craft of turning waste into treasure is titled Fine Carpentry Craft in China, which has been listed in China's state level protection projects for intangible cultural heritages. Its key neck can be summarized into four words, go with the wood, in order to give you a vivid description about the relationship between homo art and the spirit of go with the wood. I might as well show you some image information. The carved wood called O3 was a masterpiece of the late artist Mr. Wu Xiezhong. He ingeniously conceived and created this renowned home carved artwork on a small and curved piece of material, which was only 70 centimeters long and less than 13 centimeters in diameter, which was only <coughs> and yet with a hollow at one end. Why getting enchanted by the great artistic charm of the work, people are even more strongly amazed at the master's superb skill in the craft of go with the wood. We really can't imagine for such a piece of wood there could be other use be better than this one. Pine and the cloth is another representative work of Mr. Wu Xuezhong. On the board, with glamorous grains be picked up by, net, by chance, Mr. Wu cleverly produced a unique homo carved art trail, both cloth like grain and moon like knot, had become indispensable key links in the author's overall stylistic conception. What is particularly admirable is that the two black lines in the natural pattern of grains had to everyone's surprise being magic magically designed by the author to appear on the back of that square. The composition was just the nature itself. It really can be called a classic work of the theory, Go with the Wood, uh, entitled Homo the Eight Immortals Fancy Cabinet comes under the category of carved structural type ornaments. Its exquisite and complicated structure of mortise tenor connection had been done with superb handcraft. The materials were only some leftover bits from precious, previous production of big stuff. This type of ornaments used to be appreciated by the emperors in the palace of Qing dynasty. When Mr. Wu replicated it, he not only preserved the traditional handcraft, but also reproduced the elegance of ancient classics. Just have a look, okay. Now continue. Yeah. Show this, show the picture to the people. Yeah. Delicate. The video is too long. But just for you, shoot, for you, yeah, have a look, okay? Let's process. 
Now come to the next one. Okay. For the reason of time, we have cut some video. Okay. The work vitality used the piece of waste board rejected by the craftsmen when they were preparing materials for a big furniture. The back side of the board had been kept the way it was, but on the front side, they also carved a vivid sea color that symbolized the significance of tenacious vitality. But the most shining point is the little butt on the left, which shows us the author's extraordinary skill of using carving knife, ingeniously taking advantage of the clear contrast of different colors on hardwood and sapwood of African blackwood from Tanzania. The author of brush pot with carved fish pattern, carved some, some lifelike fish on the light color sap wood, by which a moving artistic figure full of pleasure of, of life had been successfully presented. I would like to explain this word um, from Tanzania. Uh, what just called to some some articles in Tanzania, he he told me it's uh, it's we we they call it ebony, but Chinese we call this African black wood, so different name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The brush pot continuity was almost made of Tanzania's African black wood. The author, with his extremely high different skill of hand, hand work, had achieved a objective of combining appreciation and a practical function into the same object. It can move okay, the whole world. The sizes of these two works, a foreigner playing with elephant and the old, old date water pipe are all are so small that the materials used for them could just be ignored. However, the brilliance and the charm of the fine carving tree skills presented by them always made people exclaim. To produce those small articles, a lot of waste materials could be fully utilized and turned it into trail. From them, we can see the spirit of go with the wood throughout the whole process of production. From above information, we have already roughly understand, understood what a re relationship it is between homo art and the principle of go with the wood. Facing the situation, the supply of wood's natural wood resources is in an increasingly acute shortage, and particularly the fact that the precious hardwoods, which take a very long period of time to grow up, are being misused without any limit. Just expressing a deep sadness is far from enough. To those valuable resources, the only things people should do is to cherish and take good care with them. of them. To cherish means not misusing them anymore, and to take care means only produce good things with them. All of us on the earth have the common goal and a duty to ensure that those valuable resources were only be used to create eternal artistic treasures with of intelligent brains and the external hands. And to achieve this dreamlike goal, the only message I would like to suggest 
is to go with the wood, and when when you intend to use it. That's all for my today. Thank you very much. <laughs>